Right, I have not played Genshin Impact in a hot minute, right? Now, I'm gonna be real. 3.2 is out next week, and I've not done even not even done 3.1. So, you know, a good, good start from me, but um, I've been paying attention to what banners are in the 3.2 update, and uh, what on earth is going on, Mahoyo? What, what on earth is this? So, first half, we have um, Kusanali, or Nahida, which, I mean, we don't have her, so I can't really, you know, show her. So, I've replaced her with Traveler for now. And then, we have Yoimiya, which, um, last time I checked, um, she was out about a month ago. So, um, yeah, it's been a month since Yoimiya was last out, but you know what, she's come back. And then second half we got um, Yaimiko, we've not, se not seen her in a rerun yet, and then Child, he got his rerun again, which I mean, it's been over a year, so yeah, it makes sense. But yeah, we're talking about what banners you should be pulling on, because it's going to be interesting. There's also Layla, the 4 star character, we'll get onto her in a second as well. So, if you guys enjoy this kind of content and you want to support this channel, feel free to sub, because a small percentage of your views are subscribed. And yeah, we do get you content every now and then on the channel, but let's get into it. So, Nahida, basically... She is the Dendro Archon, you know? Well, that's my, that's my understanding of it. I didn't actually watch the stream. So, like, if there's some kind of plot that she isn't, um, I'm going to be surprised. But I've been told that she's the Dendro Archon. And she has that, like, camera ability. And then she creates, like, some kind of like, domain expansion or some shit. And then, and then, yeah. I mean, basically, the gist of it is Dendro support. We don't have many Dendro characters at Genshin. We have the Traveler. We have Tainari, which... Is a five star which you ever get on standard or if you lose the 50 50 so i mean odds are i don't think many of you will have tainari and then there's kole which i mean i'm not gonna like i don't like kole that much so the thing is is that i would 100 percent go for her only because we don't have much in the way of dendra right now it's still a new element and i feel like you know we need, we need something better for dendra we need better supports for it because i mean travelers like q and e is pretty good for support, but what it seems to be is Nahida's um, abilities, they tend to benefit um, team comps for Dendro a lot more, it seems, and I feel like she's going to be a really good Dendro support, so I would say per personally, going for it would be a good idea. That's just me, though. I mean, then there's Yomiya, I mean, let's be real, um, she was here um, two updates ago, so the, the verdict is still out. If you wanted Yomiya in 2.8 and you didn't get her, Brilliant, you can get her in 3.2, you know, if you really wanted her. You know, it's only been about 10 weeks since she was last out. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's fairly simple. You, you just press E, you shoot a few times, it does a lot of damage. You put on a um, you put on a rust, simple as that. Um, you probably want to do 4-piece Crimson Witch or a 4-piece um, uh, Shimonara's Reminiscence. Um, level up the E. Level up your normal attack. You don't need the Q. Um, easy as that, bro. Simple as. Um, Nahida, we don't really know how to build her, by the way. So I'm not going to do a Nahida build because I don't really know much about theory crafting. So, yeah, sorry about that. But yeah, first half, easily go for Nahida. Yomiya, she's fun, but she ain't worth it, bro. My honest opinion. And then we got Yamiko and Tartalia in the second half alongside Layla, which is a new four star. It's a new four star. I think she's a catalyst, I believe. But. And she seems to be very strong. I feel like I would be pulling for Layla if um, we didn't have two characters that I already had. So, Yamiko, she's actually a bit better now as a support. She had that whole drama in 2.6 when they removed her ability to do anything, but. Um, I've gotten some good use out of her alongside Dendro, which I'm kind of looking forward to getting the heater. Now, I do want to try and get um, Nilo as well, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get her in time. I'm four off of Pity, so I've got to pick between her and I've got to pick between um, Nahida, but if I, want, I, think, I think I want to pick Nahida just so I can run it with Yaimiko and the Raiden Shogun for quicken reactions, because to be honest, the way I've been playing recently is I just, pre I just, I just press the three E's, Go, go to Traveler, press E to um, apply Dendro and uh, Electric together. It does a lot. And then these turrets, I think it's do quite a lot of damage as well. Mainly because um, I'm running a R5 Widsif, and that is a good free to play option. Because I feel like most people probably have the Widsif. If you don't have the Widsif, uh, Mapa Mare is always a really good one as well, because EM is really good for Dendro reactions. So, yeah, Mapa Mare or Widsif is ideally what's good for her. And then, honestly, just run. You could run four-piece Thundering Fury now, to be honest. 
because that would be really fun, but um, yeah, if, I, I don't really know what I thought to run on that, and then just obviously level up her talents. I've not done a good job of that recently. Anyways, um, you know, you should be leveling up her talents a bit, and then, like, mainly her E and her Q, but you can also use her normal attack to apply um, Electra as well, if you really so wish. And then fourthly, and lastly, Tartalia, one of our beloveds from the beginning of the game. We've not seen him since 2.2, so, you know, to anyone who's calls him the rerun merchant, I mean, it's been a long time since he's last come out, so give, give him a break. We, we love him, really. And to be fair, he's still just the same child as he was before, so ideally very distant hunt, but in terms of free-to-play options, we still don't have anything for him, so, uh, yeah, I mean, Rust is always good, but it took me about a year and a half to get my first Rust, and I got five of them right afterwards, so... I mean, you probably won't have Rust, maybe. I don't know. Uh, if not, you can always run Protoss like Crescent or Blackcliff. I used to run Blackcliff on them all the time, so, you know, I guess my seal of approval. But I feel like he's a bit different now, because obviously with, with um, Dendro and Hyper Bloom, you could, in theory, run him with Nilo for a Hyper Bloom team. Now, it sounds really cool, and I saw some big numbers on YouTube, but again, you'll remember that we're using Kole and the Traveler as support, so. I feel like it could be a bit better. So, I feel like Child's potential with Hyper Bloom and Nilo in particular could increase quite a lot um, as we get more Dendro supports. But right now, he's actually fairly good and I actually quite like him um, with Vaporize, anyways. Normally, I run a four piece Heart of Death. I don't know if that's changed. I've not really used Child in about a year, I think. So, I'm not sure how this really changed, but, but Heart of Death was always good for him personally. So,. I'm just going to use that. If there's a new artifact set for child, let me know in the comments below because it's been so long for me. And then constellations, you don't need any. Um, and then you want to level up his um, his E. Now, I at the start of the game thought that leveling up his normal attack helped his damage. Spoilers, it doesn't actually. So, uh, yeah, that's always pretty cool to see. It only increases his bow damage and his riptide damage with his um, aim shot. But ideally, you want to you want to ideally go for E and then Q because this can do some big vape numbers and he is our lord and saviour child. Now, so yeah, weapon banners can be actually pretty decent. First half, we're going to have the teapot looking ass. Need is best a slot weapon most likely because it's the five star. And then we're going to thundering pulse for your ear most likely because that's our best slot weapon. So already, first half weapon banner, solid. It's a good weapon banner. It's a nice day to be alive if, you, if you're a weapon banner enthusiast, which I think there's nobody out there who actually likes the weapon banner. But second half, we have... The weird Yamiko looking thing, good weapon personally, and then we got we got we got Child's weapon as well, which is that um like Polar Star, solid. They they're all good weapons. I like all of these. It may even make me spend money on the weapon banner, but you know what? I play Genshin Impact. I don't spend money on the weapon banner. I've not spent money in ages on this game, but hey, weapon banners also could be pretty good. So I mean, save your premiums for three for three point two to be dead. honest. Um. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really sorry, Nilo. I know my PC's 72, but listen, there's a new um, Denjo um, person in town, and her name is Nahida. And honestly, I'm gonna do some more research into it. If I don't like her, I'm gonna pull for Nilo. If I like Nahida, I'm gonna pull for Nahida. Uh, basically, that's my translation. First half, pull for Nahida. Second half, pull for Yamiko. If you like your Dendro characters, and you pull for Nahida first half, and you want to do quick and reactions, or you want to do some electro funny stuff with Raiden. And have the um, Amiko um, relationship, which we all know and love. Um, go for Miko, but hey, if you if you want your Tartalia, which I know there's a lot of Tartalia fans out there, go for Tartalia round two. He's 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 only he's still pretty good to be honest with vaporized teams, so you know he's still worth it personally in my eyes. But yeah, let me know below what banners are you guys pulling on in the update? Because um, I'm actually interested to see because I'm you know someone who doesn't really understand the key up the matter these days. I'm actually not sure what's good. But yeah, hope you have a great day everyone, take care, and I'll see you guys in another video really soon, have a lovely day everyone.